Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to blog with Squarespace. Blogging is one of the best ways to share valuable content with your audience and build your brand online. Squarespace makes it incredibly easy, so I'm excited to share this tutorial with you. If you haven't built your website yet, not to worry, check out my other video where I walk you through getting set up in Squarespace and click the link in the description below to grab my free Squarespace roadmap. All right, so let's dive into how to set up your blog in Squarespace. So this is what the back end of Squarespace looks like on the latest version, which is 7.1. And you can add a blog to any template. So it doesn't matter which template you selected. Make sure to check out my previous video for how to do that. But yeah, it doesn't matter what template you've selected, you can add a blog to any of them. So the first thing you need to do is click on pages, and then you're going to go up here and click on the plus sign. Click on that, and then you'll see blog. Awesome, so once you click on that, you'll see that there are all these different blog layouts that you can choose from. And don't worry too much about making the decision right now because you can also change this later. So I'm just gonna go with blog two. So I'm gonna click on that. And then I'm gonna change this to just say blog and then hit enter. Okay, great. So this is going to open up your blog panel in Squarespace. And this is where you're going to write all of your articles. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Awesome, so let's go ahead and customize blog post one. So you're gonna come over here and then click edit. Once you do, this is going to open up the editor and now you can simply double click on everything to customize it. And now you can start editing. So we're going to double click on the title and simply replace it with our own title. So I double click and then type in title goes here. And same with the text, you can actually select all of this, delete it, and then write your post here. Okay, awesome. Then you'll see that it has brought in the author information by default, as well as the date and who it's written by. But both of those can be customized further as well. Okay, so Squarespace blogging functions just like the rest of Squarespace. So I can come over here, to the edge of my post, and I'll see a little sideways teardrop shape. I can simply click on that, and this is going to open up all the different content blocks that I can add to my website. So as you can see, there is a whole lot. So if I wanted to add an image to this post, I can absolutely do that. A video, a button, a quote, the list goes on. So let's say I wanna add an image. I'm just going to click on that and that will insert an image block. And then I can simply click search for image, and then I can search for whatever image that I might need. And these are actually 100% free photos that you can add to your website. So for example, let's say I needed a computer photo. I'm just going to type in computer, find one I like, hover over it, click select, and then add to site. Awesome, so hit apply and now you can see that image within your blog post. Okay, so let's talk about customizing this more. All you need to do is come up here to the pencil icon. So you're gonna click on that, and then you'll see all these different editing options. So for example, your content width, we could make that narrow, or we could make that wide. Um, okay, I actually like medium though. <laughs> You can change your text alignment from left or to center. You can change your meta position. So where is this text going to go? You can actually move it below the title. You can choose to show categories, the date, the author name, author profile. So these are all optional. And if you don't want to show it, you can simply turn it off. And then you have a few other styling options as well. And if we go over to colors, you'll see that it is currently on default theme. So you can leave that as is if you're happy with the way that it looks, or you can simply turn this off and choose one of your other color themes. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna go with white bold. Okay, great. So that is my blog post in the works. 
So the next thing I wanna show you is that you can come up here to the gear icon and then you'll have even more customization options. So for example, here is where you would add your tags and your categories, determine whether you're going to allow comments and also do a lot more of the SEO work. Okay, so then you can turn comments on and hit apply and let me show you what that looks like. If you scroll down to the bottom, now you'll see that you have comments enabled. Okay, awesome, so back over to settings. You're gonna click options and here is where you would add your thumbnail image, customize your post URL, determine who the author is and customize your excerpt. So let's delete this one here. And again, we'll add another computer photo. So I'm just going to click search for image and I'm gonna type in computer. Okay, awesome, then I'm going to look for one that I like hit select, and then add to site. Okay, awesome, so we've found our thumbnail image, then we're also going to customize this excerpt, so this is where you would give one to two sentences about what your post is about. Okay, great, then hit apply, then hover over done, and hit save in order to save everything. Okay, great, so now when you click on blog up top here, you'll see that our thumbnail has been customized as well as our little excerpt here. So at any point, if you want to get to your main blog page where it details all of the posts, just come up here and hit blog. Okay, so now if we actually go into edit mode while on this page, you'll see that you have even more customization options. If we click on the pencil icon here, it's going to allow you to customize the look of your blog even more. So Squarespace is really flexible and gives you a lot of options to customize here. So for example, let's say I wanted to add a few more columns. I can simply hit the plus sign here and go ahead and do that. Okay, awesome. So I'm gonna keep this at three and then I'm going to hit done and save. So the final thing I wanted to show you in this video was how to customize your author profile. So let's click back on pages and back again. So you'll see down here that you can see my name and initials. I'm gonna click on my initials here. Then I'm gonna come up here to where it says LH again, then click profile. And I'm going to add a profile picture here. Okay, so let's click edit, then upload and add a profile picture and add your website and a bio down here. Okay, great. So we filled that in. Now we're gonna click save and then close and go back into our website. So I'm gonna click edit site. Okay, now let's click on our blog, go into our example post. And now if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see our little author profile. So yeah, I really love that and it's super simple. So one thing that isn't there by default is a sidebar, but if you do want that, I know of a great plugin which allows you to do this. So I'll leave a link for that in the description below. All right guys, that's it for today's training. I hope it was helpful for you. Of course, there is a whole lot more to share with you about Squarespace. So don't forget to click the link in the description below to get my free Squarespace roadmap and use my affiliate discount code SIDEKICK10 at checkout to save 10%. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, just leave those for me in the comments below and I'll see you soon with another video.